Here we are, on Route 1 of the Kanto region surrounded by beautiful Pokémon. But what would happen if we removed them? You know what? Scratch that. Let's think even bigger. What would happen if we removed all of the Pokémon from Pokémon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee? Now, since I'm going to be getting rid of all the Pokémon, I'm also going to be using a mod to make my partner Pikachu look like a ghost. And now that I'm actually seeing it in-game, that thing looks really, really creepy. Ooh, ooh, it's the ghost of Pikachu! Ooh. But can we stop and talk for a second about how my character just does not care that it's holding a ghost Pikachu? He's way braver than I am, I would not touch that thing with a 10-foot pole. Anyway, back to removing Pokémon. So first, I removed every single Pokémon that I have. I have no Pokémon in my box, and no Pokémon in my party, so let's open it up and check it out. Or I can't. I guess the game freezes right away. Now I'm not really sure why this happens, because early on in the game, you actually can have no Pokémon when you first start the game. So I don't know why the menu is freezing right now, but the whole game just froze, and that's really weird. After that crash, I did a little bit of testing, and I figured out that the reason that I couldn't open up the menu was because I deleted my partner Pokémon. If you guys have seen any of my other videos, you'll know that the partner Pokémon is really essential to playing Let's Go P Pikachu and Eevee, and if you remove your partner Pokemon and there's no other Pokemon to take its slot, the game just doesn't know what to do and will crash. So I generated a random Pokemon, right now you can see there's still nothing in my party, but the menu is actually opening up. I generated just some random Zubat and I put it in my box, and since it's my only Pokemon, the game is using the Zubat data as like the name for my partner Pokemon on my menu here. So it says play with Zubat, but it allows me to actually open open up the menu, and see my creepy ghost Pikachu, and it looks like Pikachu has to sneeze. SNEEZE ALREADY! SNEEZE! But yeah, the game is just that tied to your partner Pokémon that if you don't have one, it won't even let you open up the menu. Alright, so now we know we can't open up the menu, we can't check out our Pokémon. So I'm gonna force the game to let me check out my Pokémon. We're gonna go up to this trainer over here and battle him with our creepy ghost Pikachu on our back and see what happens. What's the game gonna send out against Camper Shane? So Camper Shane has his usual Spiro, and we have... Explanation Point! Oh, okay, that's a little weird. Also, it's saying that I have five fainted Pokémon and one little dot in my party. I'm not really sure what that means, but we apparently have a shiny egg. You have no more Pokémon that can fight. You are overwhelmed by your defeat. Oh no. Oh no, I think I know where this is going. We're going to the Pokémon Center. Oh no, it's Nurse Joy! Ugh, she's gonna restore my Pokémon, but I've been through this before. And when she tries to heal my Pokémon and I don't have any, we just get stuck here. Yep, if you don't have any Pokémon and you try healing up with Nurse Joy, she doesn't know what to do, and she'll just look at the computer screen forever. I mean, I guess it's kind of fitting. If you don't have any Pokémon, what is Nurse Joy really supposed to do? What does Nurse Joy do in her free time, anyway? And now we're back over here with Camper Shane, except this time I did something extra fancy. So last time, he had his Spiro. Oh. Oh, okay. Anyway, what I did here was I removed his Pokémon too, so we both have no Pokémon. However, I guess the game really doesn't like that, and it just crashes if I try to get into a battle with him. So if you remove their Pokémon, if you even encounter a trainer, the game just instantly crashes. Lovely. Next, just for fun, I want to see what it would look like if we removed all of the wild Pokémon from the game. So let's see, I'm on Route 1, and usually by now we'd see something pop out of the grass, so I think it worked. All of the wild Pokémon are gone. And you know, this is how a normal Pokémon game is! There are no wild Pokémon running around, but in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, it feels weird, to say the least. It feels kind of ominous, hearing that really happy music and just not seeing anything. Let's go even further, let's go ahead to Route 2 and Viridian Forest. I think this is gonna be extra creepy. So here, I would always find something in this big patch over here. So many Pokémon could spawn here, but absolutely nothing. It's just creepy. I have a ghost Pikachu on my shoulder, and there's nothing. And now Viridian Forest. These bug catchers, I feel extra bad for them because now there's no bugs to catch. This forest is just empty. There's only people walking around. I could run around in this grass all day long, but nothing's gonna pop out. 
It's super, super weird. And again, I don't really know how I feel about this. I feel like the next Pokemon game that we go into, Generation 8, is going to be more like this, where the wild Pokemon aren't going to be running around in the overworld. But after having the vibrant, active, and loving world of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, it's just going to feel so empty running around after that. I mean, you'll still get encounters, but still, it just feels weird not seeing any Pokemon at all. It feels like something's missing. And finally, I guess the last thing I'll test out is the daycare. I'll see what happens if I try to talk to the daycare lady, but I don't have any Pokemon to give her. I'm the daycare lady. I look after and raise the Pokemon of trainers who leave them here with me. Now then, what would you like me to do? All right, let's drop a Pokemon off. You can't leave any Pokemon unless you have at least three across your party in Pokemon box. Why don't you try catching some more Pokemon and adding them to your party first? All right, so I guess that doesn't even work either. There's really nothing you can do if you get rid of all the Pokemon. It's kind of weird, actually. So yeah, in conclusion, if you get rid of all the Pokemon, you really can't do anything. You can't battle, the game will crash. You can't open up your menu, the game will crash. There isn't really much of a point to walk around the world because you can't do anything. And even the daycare lady will reject you and just send you right back. So yeah, there's no point, but I guess that's what happens when you remove the Pokemon from a game called Pokemon. Anyway, I'm getting sick of this. Let's reverse the whole snap and bring all the Pokemon back. Alright, that's a lot better. Moral of the story, don't remove the Pokemon from a Pokemon game. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, and guys, I'll be seeing you in the next one.